Okay, this program is about floating point math in Visual Basic, and what does that mean? Just think of floating point math as a calculator where you can do tenths, thousandths, and the, de and the decimal point and move around. And, and also think of it as precision. How precise do you want to be? How much? How many people do you want to use to figure out this spaceship to the moon? That's, you know, that's an exaggeration, but it's the, it's the computer. How much memory do you want to use? How much processing power do you want to use? So, when you hear the word floating point math, what you're really hearing is what data type do we want to use? Now, there may be more, but the two that we're going to talk about is, we'll talk about three. One of them is not a precision point, which is integer. Integer rounds numbers off. It's not precision. And then there's single, which is a precision to a higher level that we'll get into beyond whole numbers. And there's doubles that will basically double the amount of precision. So we're going to run this and we're going to see what happens. So we're going to start off this integer. You see, we have two different equations. We have one with fractions, we have one without. They're both going to create fractions. And I wanted to point out something else. If you put your mouse over this in for IntelliSense, it's I'm not sure why it's doing this, but it's I'm gonna I'm gonna take this as the computer's thinking. It's thinking, hey, you better use double double uh, data, double type data. Now if you go down here, it says, hey, I think you should use integer. Now I can tell you that up here, it's right. Down here, it's wrong. So these hints that IntelliSense gives you are, is the computer's best sense, but it doesn't mean it's right. Because we don't want a whole number. We, we want a precision number into a fractal decimal to a, to a precision that we want. So let's run this. There's two instances, okay? This one, and then that one. It's going to run two uh, algorithms. Two algorithms. Sorry, I mumble when I talk quiet, and there's a bunch of people here. So, we'll test. 195. It rounded itself off. It rounded itself off. So if we're, we want to do precision, we don't want to use integer. And again, integer is not a flo is not does not use floating point math. I don't know what's wrong with my fingers. You notice that this went 4. This one went 6. That's with single. So I think we had 4 and 6. Let's change this to double. This time the first one went five, and then the second one went like fourteen. So we will 
call floating point math, uh, just to recap this, the more precise you want to be, if you're, let's say you're doing someone's, if you're making a program for somebody that's doing bookkeeping, you want to be to the penny, don't take a chance of using an integer. I mean, it might work, who knows, but don't take a chance. If you want to, if you're working with somebody that has a million dollars, you'll probably be okay with single. Because singles will, I think single will be accurate up to like $330,000 to the penny. If you're working with a trillionaire, like the federal government, you're going to want to use double. And double will go up to a penny and 45 trillion. Well, luckily we don't have that much debt yet, but uh, pretty soon they're going to be using double, which they probably are anyway. So that's the difference. That's I hope I explained uh, why it's important or not important to use data types. Again, there's other data types that we are not going to discuss here, and the one I could think right offhand is string. And, I, and also I know for a fact that if I change that double to string in this program that the bottom uh, algorithm would have uh, 12 decimal points to it. And that's for a different video. But do not do math calculations and fractions. If you want them precise, unless you're in single or double. And as we keep going in the videos, I'll try to explain this stuff. I'll try to keep it short. Sometimes I go too deep, or maybe it's not even clear. I don't know. That's it.